Happy Monday, guys. As some of you may or not know, my birthday was the other day, and this was my birthday hair. This is one of my favorite units from wowafrican.com. I'll have more information in the bottom bar about this hair, but this video is about how I adhere my hair using chic bond so i'm going to show you guys a couple of my favorite units and the one thing that they all have in common is that i use chic bond to adhere them and they are wow african units i really really like chic bond a lot because it doesn't require that you use a lot of the glue for it to stick up there not only does it stick but when you unstick it you can pop your hair back on if it's still really sticky which it usually is in this clip right here i only have a little bit of chic bond on each tab of the ears of my wig and i absolutely love how it sticks i love how it wears i love the fact that you don't have to use very much of it and it's just very easy to use i also love the fact that there are now more than one or two glues on the market this is the same wig that i'm going to show you right here except for it has a bang so here goes the chic bond they have a couple different strengths and they even have a remover which is really bomb so i like to use the extreme chic bond it's water resistant and it works really really well in your hair another thing that i'm going to show you in this video is how i transform a wig now this right here this is essence hair coloring. I'm going to take this orange wig from this hot warm orange color to this deeper darker red color with black roots. Look how healthy the hair looks. So first let me show you how I adhere my wig. So this is my wig. This is my little my little blonde unit that I love from Wow African. The one that I'm always wearing and always talking about. You guys really seem to like this unit. So basically what I did is I just took some water and I brushed the hair back to train it and I'm measuring where I like my unit to fall and that's right above my chicken pox scar right now I'm taking somewhat of a skin tone pencil and I'm marking where the lace stops so I know where to put my glue and this makes it really really easy for you to get your glue in it in an, in an exact area so you go ahead you put your glue and then later I'm gonna wipe that mark away and I'm not using a cap as you can see sometimes that works better for me because sometimes the cap absorbs sweat and then it makes the glue not last as long but you're going to want to go in and use a thin layer let it dry clear and then if you want you can put another layer i usually do two or three depending on how long i want it to last right here i'm only using one because you only really need one you only really need one and as you can see using that glue map really really helped me to decide exactly where I'm gonna put the glue another thing is if you have little pieces that stuck up afterwards you can always go in pin the hair back and then add a little bit more glue to make sure those little edges get laid down now I know you guys are gonna try and drag me about this wig don't do it okay I didn't do a lot of special work to it because I knew I was gonna cut a bang this also comes with my chic bond um, glue and remover it's a little silk strap and it really helps your wig to mesh down last longer and it helps to hold your lace in place when you're sleeping so it's really really useful and as you can see a couple of spots got skipped you can just go in and reapply a little bit of glue and go ahead and use your strap so here it is it's on it's good it's super easy to use I remember back in the day when glues were hard and weird and really hard to work with and that's not the case anymore I love chic bond more information in the bottom bar so now I'm showing you how to transform a wig that's already been dyed and this is really really saturated with a really dark warm orange it doesn't have many roots it has some skips and it has some choppiness but I want to show you how to use essence hair coloring which is amazing and I'm using the watercolor method and I'm using lava red and black I'm gonna mix the red and black together to create the first color and then I'm going to go in and do the roots with the black all by itself this is going to build the body of the hair and then I'm going to go in and do the roots singularly. For the roots, I use, like I said, the black hair coloring, which is jet black from Essence. And I just mix that with a little bit of conditioner and I apply that to the roots. And this is going to make sure your roots are nice and dark 
and black and really, really stand out. And for the body of the hair, I did use the watercolor method and this made it really, really easy for me to be able to get the hair really, really saturated and nice and red. And I'm just combing through and making sure that everything is really solid. This is a really, really easy method for coloring your hair, especially if you want the bottom to be really, really pigmented, even and vibrant, the watercolor method. And then for the roots, especially if you want it to be nice and dark, is really, really good if you go in with like say a conditioner or some type of hair cream and the hair dye combined. A really, really great hair dye. I really love how healthy the hair looked afterwards. It didn't have any awkward smell. It didn't stain anything in my home. And I would definitely recommend this to you guys. And I really love this. I really love how the wig came out. It looks extremely healthy, shiny, and just all around like a really, really good wig. Both these products information will be in the bottom bar if you're interested in checking them out i highly recommend you check out chic bond and essence hair color because they're just really great products and they have really really great prices i just wanted to show you some of my favorite hair right now if you guys have any questions or comments feel free to leave them in the bottom bar as always i want to thank you so much for commenting rating and subscribing i'll be in touch and hopefully you'll do the same bye guys